Hi there, I'm Brian Taylor, owner of Highway RV in Lake Alfred, Florida. Today I'm really excited to take you on a tour of this pretty rare uh, travel trailer that we have in stock. This is a 2017 Jayco J Flight 21 QB. However, it's got the fiberglass sidewall option, which is not found very often. Uh, there's only a handful of these available in the United States, most, most of which are all brand new. But you can pick this one up. It's about six months old. It's only been used a few times. It's in brand new, virtually brand new condition. Uh, let's go ahead and start this walkthrough on the inside of the trailer. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this tour here on the inside. Uh, this again is a 2017 Jayco J Flight 21 QB floor plan. Has the, the fiberglass sidewall option, which normally the J Flight is a uh, aluminum uh, sided exterior trailer, but with the fiberglass, it's, uh, it makes for a lighter method of construction, and it's just an upgraded model. Very, very few of these available. I'm not aware of any of them them that are this lightly used in the whole country. Um, this 21 QB weighs 4,385 pounds empty. So that's going to be very easily towable by a lot of SUVs um, and a lot of, of smaller pickup trucks. Uh, certainly any half ton pickup truck is going to have no trouble at all uh, pulling this, but you're going to find that a lot of your mid-sized pickup trucks are going to do just fine because of the lightweight. It's 25 foot 6 inches long from the ball to the bumper, so that's the overall outside length. It's a 21 foot floor plan, so uh, you've got 21 foot of living area. Um, what we're going to do on the walkthrough is I'm going to kind of take you through the 21 QB floor plan. I'm going to point out some of the features of the J Flight and some of the features of this floor plan. I'm going to just show you the layout and then I'm also going to point out if there's any uh, any flaws, any wear and tear on this unit, I'm going to point it out as we go. It's virtually brand new. It's only been used a few times. Uh, it's uh, way less than a year old. I think it's about six months old. Uh, so it's uh, in fantastic condition. Uh, it's a great way to save some money over buying brand new. Um, you're going to have some goodies that come with it that you would not have included with the trailer if you were buying it new. So you kind of add it all up and it, it's a really great value. So right now I'm in the back of the trailer. I'm, I'm right back at the rear window. You can see it's got pleated shades uh, and we've got plenty of natural light back here. You've got a big window here, another one over here by the dinette, another one by the sofa. Plus we've got an 81 inch ceiling, uh, 81 inch high ceiling height, which is taller than a lot of trailers of this size, and it gives it an overall open and roomy feel. There's no slide out on this trailer, but it, it does not feel cramped whatsoever. Over here we have a, a leather uh, sofa. It's the jackknife style, so you can flop this down like that, and you've got uh, extra sleeping for one right there. Uh, it's got little uh, armrests that go on there. Uh, over here you have a, a booth dinette. So this, uh, this tabletop will uh, remove and come down and rest on the ledges down here and you've got sleeping for another person over here. So you can sleep four people in this trailer. With, these, with two people back here you still have the queen bed in the front so you've got adequate sleeping for four. Uh, the tabletop and the rest of the countertops are covered in a high definition laminate. Uh, high definition laminate if you were to see it next to regular laminate it's really easy to recognize. It's got a it's got a much more uh, kind of a textured uh, finish to it. It's far, far more durable than uh, plain laminate. And this is in uh, very, very well, awesome condition, brand new condition. But because of the texture of the laminate, it looks very much like real natural stone. Um, if it weren't uh, if it weren't for being able to just if you're looking really close be able to see where you've got a molding on the edge uh, it could just about pass for real granite so it's really really pretty it's a dark brown uh, or a slate colored um, uh, laminate. It looks a lot like Imperador dark brown uh, um, marble. I'm, I'm familiar with that color marble and it looks like that's what it is. So um, we've got a brown vinyl uh, that is on the sofa and the booth dinette. 
Um, I've got the name of the uh, interior color package in the in the description of the ad, but I can't remember it off the top of my head right now. Uh, up here we have a nice big Furion television uh, here on an arm mount, so you're going to be able to to rotate this and push it back and and turn it no matter whether you're sitting over here or you're cooking or or uh, eating at the dinette. You're going to be able to put that TV wherever you want it. Over here we have a Furion stereo uh, and DVD player right here so you're going to be able to get your sound and stuff through there uh, as well as watching videos so no need for any other video equipment in here this is going to handle all your needs you got a cubby hole up above that. Uh, all of your, your lighting in here is LED, so it, uh, it uses uh, less power than uh, incandescent lighting. Uh, it's a nice, clean, bright light, and it's a really nice, bright interior in this trailer. Uh, here we've got a nice, big storage cabinet here. You've also got other storage uh, back here. One other little thing that the uh, that the uh, previous owners did, if you notice there's a, a little strip of Velcro here, which would be easily removable if you don't like it, but what they did is they made nice custom window covers that are stowed right here behind the um, behind the sofa and what you do is roll those out and you just uh, you put them on behind the shade and it's going to give you complete blackout and they made those for the whole inside of the trailer so if you're one of these folks that likes it really dark when you sleep uh, and, and don't want to be woken up in the morning by the light you've got those really nice uh, uh, covers for the windows and like I said if you don't like that this is uh, very easily removable so uh, no harm done if you don't like it but I think it's a really nice little touch things like that that uh, owners have worked out that you just don't get when you buy them brand new. You save a little bit of money and you get a few little extras uh, with it. Uh, so here we uh, have our pantry. Got lots of storage in here for canned goods, boxes, things like that. And this is a nice big deep cabinet. Uh, coming over to here, we have our Norcold refrigerator. And this is actually a very large refrigerator. This is, an, I believe, an 8 cubic foot. The standard in most trailers is going to be 6 cubic feet in this class. So you've got a really nice big refrigerator, especially for a 21 foot floor plan. Down below, we've got uh, our converter. Uh, you're going to have your um, your fuses and breakers and things like that down there, and that's your battery charger. Uh, coming over here to the kitchen, we've got a stainless steel front microwave. We got a range hood here, a three burner cooktop, and an oven. So a lot of people like their ovens, and a lot of times in, uh, in a travel trailer, uh, you're only going to see uh, the three burner cooktop, but you do have the oven in this model, so you can do some baking. Uh, down below, we've got storage there. Uh, as you can see while we're down here, we've got a nice hardwood uh, look vinyl. Uh, it's a vinyl product, but it is a kind of, uh, if it's not coming up, coming out well on the uh, video. It's definitely got brown in it and it's also got some topies or, or, or gray kind of colors in there. So it's it's kind of brown and gray sort of mixed, sort of like a driftwood sort of a color. Very, very pretty. Blends perfectly with the countertops and the other colors in the trailer. Really, really sharp. And then over here we have a backsplash and this is like a real tile backsplash. It's not uh, just wallpaper or something like that. It's a really pretty nice um, uh, little one inch tiles and they've got some some mirrored tiles in there so it's a nice high-end look something looks more like what you'd see in a in a motor home or a diesel motor home something like that uh, right here we've got our to uh, our, our double sink and it's in a really nice high gloss uh, bone color you got your nickel finish pot filler faucet, another really nice feature. Uh, you've got a really high quality faucet there. Uh, more storage beneath the sink. A bank of three drawers over here. All the drawers, um, well, at least some of them. Um, I, I thought all of them, but some of them have liners in them already. Um, more cabinetry up above. We got a mini blind here in the kitchen. That's the only place that normally most RVs always have mini blinds here just because the pleated shades don't work well if you're washing dishes and you get splashes on them. They don't hold up near as well. 
Right here is the entrance into our bathroom, and you've got a nice full-size bathroom for, especially for a 20, uh, again, a 21-foot travel trailer. You've got a, uh, a bathtub, so that's really nice if you have some uh, children that you're going to take with you, especially. You've got a nice uh, skylight, and I'm about 5'10". You can see I've got plenty of headroom there, so it's uh, got lots of space in here. you got areas on the side of the shower here for putting shampoo shampoo bottles and things like that. Uh, the hardware in here again is a nice upgraded brush nickel type hardware in the shower. Got a nice shower curtain with it and we've got a uh, mirrored medicine cabinet here. There we go. Um, so we've got nice storage there. A really big countertop here for the vanity. You've got a lot of, of extra counter space over here and storage down below. And you've got your toilet over here and it is a foot flush type design. Um, so uh, it's a nice, uh, it's actually got a china, uh, it's a china toilet. So it's not all plastic. It's got a porcelain bowl which is very, very nice. Definitely something you don't see in this uh, type of RV very often. And now uh, coming on back, we'll end up the interior part of the tour back here in the bedroom. We've got a queen bed right here. Uh, mattress is, I mean, virtually brand new. Uh, and, you know, it's only been used a couple of times. You cannot tell that it's ever been used. Um, beautiful bedspread. Really, really nice bedspread. Jayco's done a really great job of, of the appointments in this trailer. It, just simply looks higher end than than you expect uh, for a travel trailer. Uh, you've got cabinets on either side of the bed with hanging rods in them for clothes and then you've got uh, enclosed cabinets up above the bed. A lot of times manufacturers will just put a shelf across here and you don't have fully enclosed storage but this is a really nice enclosed cabinets with decorative glass uh, inserts. It's a smoke glass uh, in there. Uh, on your um, either side of the bed you do have a you do have nightstands, and the that side of the bed over there has USB charging ports, so that's really nice. And you do have an area up here for a mounting bracket for a television, so you can have another television that mounts right up here. So that's pretty much the inside of this trailer. Uh, let's go ahead and continue our tour on the outside. Okay, let's go ahead and continue our tour of this uh, trailer here on the outside. Again, it's a 2017 Jayco J-Flight 21 QB floor plan with the uh, fiberglass exterior upgrade. What we're going to do here on the outside is the same thing as inside. We're just going to walk around it. I'm going to show you some of the features of the trailer and also point out the condition it's in. Now, I noticed after the interior portion that I never pointed out any flaws. <laughs> there virtually aren't any uh, in there. Uh, I, it's not old enough to have shown really any wear or tear or anything like that. Uh, the only thing that I could think of is that the uh, where the television mount is in the bedroom, there are two screw holes in the in the wall. That uh, but you're probably going to put a mount back up there anyway. But we can certainly uh, touch those in with a, a dab of uh, a spackle is all it will take. It's literally that clean inside. Uh, there's just no wear or tear, and it's basically the same here on the outside. Um, at the front we've got a power tongue jack. Um, it's all in great shape and working great. All of our tongue uh, is super nice and glossy with no rust on it. It doesn't need, uh, it just looks factory fresh and new. The front of the trailer is, is fiberglass of course on this model. It's super shiny. There's no uh, scratches, dents, dings, anything like that. Um, I don't even see any nicks in the uh, in the vinyl. Uh, it looks like there's a tiny little nick on the bottom of the Y right there. Just a bug chip or a rock chip uh, is about the only thing that I can see on the whole front of it. We've got diamond shield down here at the bottom section of the front cap and with the radius front end uh, that adds a little bit more uh, aerodynamics to the trailer and it should tow
tow very nicely. Uh, it's got 30 pound LP gas cylinders behind here and of course it comes with a battery. Now I, I mentioned that there's a couple of extras that the trailer comes with. It comes with the anti-sway load distributing hitch that you need uh, to be safe when you're towing the vehicle. But one really neat feature that it comes with is they have included a Takancha brake controller and what's unique about this is if you don't already have a brake controller in your truck or your tow vehicle, vehicle. Uh, if you've already got one, you won't need this. But let's say you want to pull it with another vehicle that doesn't have a trailer brake controller installed already. There's no need to go have a trailer brake in uh, controller installed. This is a totally um, standalone system. This goes here on the uh, on the A-frame of the trailer. This is going to mount out here on the A-frame. Your trailer plugs into this and the, the cord plugs into the truck. So that's your trailer brake unit and then the control module goes into the inside of the vehicle and plugs into the cigarette lighter adapter and it's uh, it, it, it does not require being wired into the vehicle at all and that is totally unique to be portable. Um, it it uh, is a really neat system. It works great and uh, that comes with the trailer so uh, that's a fairly pricey uh, unit there and um, it's in virtually brand new condition because they purchased it when they bought the trailer and uh, what's nice about that is it does not require a mechanic or a technician to install your trailer brake controller. Right here's your anti-sway load leveling hitch in there. You can see we've got a nice big pass-through storage bay and the bay actually goes back a little bit further underneath the bed so uh, when you raise the bed you also get access to this area so it's very versatile storage area and really really big it's not divided up like a lot of trailers where you have the portion under the bed and the portion that's outside it's all one big storage compartment and it's really nice it offers a significant amount more usable storage in my opinion than the standard setup another nice feature with this uh, with this model and with the option package that was uh, installed on this is it's got the frameless windows. This is a, a, a high-end window. There's no exposed rubber around here. Uh, it just looks like a floating piece of glass on the outside of the trailer. Uh, a few years ago, you never saw this on anything but high-end fifth wheels. Uh, now you're starting to see it show up in, in other segments of the market, uh, but it is very unique to find it on uh, this segment of the travel trailer market but it looks super nice it gives a really sleek look and I'll point the rest of them out as we go around we also have a, um, a power electric awning that covers from right from here all the way to the back of the trailer so almost the whole sidewall of the trailer has a nice big power awning with LED lights under it uh, we've got an electrical plug-in right here we got our double entry step right here's a nice Linda hand um, grab handle for going in the, the trailer. A lot of manufacturers just have a tiny little handle right here, but this is a nice upgrade model that we actually sell a lot of these with uh, as an upgrade when we sell new Coachman Catalinas, so uh, it's a really nice unit. Uh, our wheels and tires uh, look perfect. All the nubs are still on the tires. They've been pulled very, very little dif distance and they're in excellent condition. All of the graphics and all of the tan sidewalls are perfect. There's not any fading, no cracking, uh, I mean, super shiny. Here's that nice big window for the dinette, and you can get a really nice view of the frameless windows, as well as back here on the back, you'll get another nice view. Another nice thing that this one has is the upgrade to the uh, ladder to get onto the roof. Uh, another, uh, that's an option that, for instance, on the Coachman Catalinas we sell, it's not even available option. So it's uh, really nice to have that. It, it uh, saves you in having to keep a ladder with you in the storage bin. Got a nice full-size spare back here. You can see all the back cap is in excellent condition. Uh, the frameless windows, a nice shot of that. Coming over on to the other side, of the trailer. This would be the, the driver's side. Uh, we've got the back side of our refrigerator here, our 30 amp power cord here. This is a fresh water fill. Uh, you've got an outdoor shower right here. This is going to be a city water connection down here and a black water 
flush right here, so that's going to be for um, cleaning out your black water tank. It's a very nice feature to have. Um, and then up here uh, is the other side of that pass-through storage. And we can tell you a little bit more about the trailer if you'd like to call. There's another, uh, there's a, a cover available with this if you would like. Uh, customers have a really great deal on the cover that they bought to go with this. And there's a couple other goodies. So if you'd like more information on the trailer, give us a call at Highway RV. Our number is 863-956-1036. My name's Brian, but whoever answers the phone is going to be glad to help you. Um, you can also uh, visit us online at www.highwayrv.com. Uh, if you're watching this video on, on YouTube, click the subscribe button, or if you're seeing this embedded in one of our ads, try to click through to our YouTube page or go to our website and that will have a link to our YouTube page. Click the subscribe button. It'll help us out, but it'll also give you a notification every time that we filmed a new video you'll get a notification that we filmed a new one and it's a great way to keep up on new inventory here at Highway RV and a great way to connect with us. We also have a Facebook page, our Highway RV Facebook page. Um, so you, there's many ways you can connect with us. Uh, again, I, uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Uh, I hope it's been helpful to you in making a buying decision. What we want to do is be able to make a video so you can actually do shopping in the comfort of your home. Uh, our goal is that once you've watched this video, you not only know what what the key information about the Jayco J-Flight 21QB is, but you also know the condition that it's in before you come. You don't make a trip here and realize that I only showed you the good stuff and that really there's a bunch of flaws with the trailer that weren't, weren't pointed out. We do our dead level best to show you the good and the bad. Just so happens with this trailer, it's almost all good. There's there's no uh, flaws really to point out, um, but if you'd like to call us and, and talk with us, if there's anything I think of, we'd be glad to pass it along. If you're coming from a long distance away, we can always send you a detailed picture package. So again, I appreciate taking the time to watch the video, and I hope it's been helpful to you. You have a great day, and God bless.